Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, bringing you the news happening in the world right now. Well, The Sims 3 team has been hard at work, and today or yesterday, depending upon when you're watching this, it was all shown to us. So many crazy things were announced, so let's just jump right into this. Yesterday was the day that EA held their live stream, but it was unlike any other live stream before. This one was crazy with so many amazing announcements in such a short amount of time. First up, they showed off the 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff pack, which I just have to say that I'm not really interested in, but that's just me personally. I never really get excited for stuff packs. But there are a ton of new items in cast to make your sims look like they live in those decades. Something that does appeal to me though are the new items. There are quite a few new ones. And the one thing that seemed to be emphasized by sim guru Graham was the vintage aspect of all of them. From the cool new hanging fireplaces to the TV, dance floor lights, wall lights, retro sofa, and a ton of bright colors, this pack looks like it could add a bunch of really cool new things to the game when it comes out. The 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff pack will be available this January the 22nd. But of course that wasn't it, we're just getting started. The Sims team dropped another big thing on all of us, they announced The Sims 3 University. Yep, that's right, for months it's been rumored, but now it's a reality. It'll be available on March 3rd of this year, and it includes the necessary aspects of university life. From the dorm rooms, rentable homes, bars, coffee shops, bowling alleys, and awesome outdoor spaces, this new expansion pack looks pretty freaking sweet. The EA team also made it possible for our Sims to have some serious fun at university by throwing awesome parties with the juice keg and they can also play juice pong. The university world works on the same principle as in previous generations where if your sims are from Sunset Valley for example, even though it works in all worlds, they can travel to this separate university world, kind of like a world adventures world. There are some new rabbit holes for this pack but the gurus did point out that it was going to be possible for you to see your sims attending some classes. The keyword here is some, not all, so don't get upset when you can't can't see your sim in their biology exam. There are some new social groups in the game from the jocks, nerds, and the activist type sims. There's something for almost every type of sim. And one fun addition to the game allows you not only to rent a home while attending university, but if you have that spare bedroom that really you're not doing anything with, why not rent it out to some random NPC player? Obviously an NPC is a non-playable character, but of course they can live on the same lot as your sim. So once again, University will be available on March 5th of 2013, and there is a special origin bundle that includes a cool new statue that actually allows your sims to throw the best parties ever! So, um... That's a thing. Next up, we took some time away from The Sims 3 and talked about Sims City, where they showed off the new trailer for the game and talked about some awesome other things. I'm not really sure what they were since there were some technical difficulties with the audio, so yeah. Anyway, Sim City will be available on the same day as University on March 5th of 2013. And then the time that no one even seen coming, EA's Big Boom! Also something that gave me a little bit of a heart attack because I was so freaking excited. The Sims team announced this year's entire lineup of games. Yep, the whole year, starting with the new expansion pack currently in development that will be released sometime in June called The Sims 3 Island Paradise. They only showed off one screenshot of the game and it was a good one. Check it out. Yep, that's right, it's a sim on a boat. For the first time ever, your sims will be able to actually travel between islands in the game by boat. But that's not all. Besides traveling in a boat, your sims can now live on a boat. You can design a houseboat and have your sims live aboard it. Then they can use that houseboat to travel from island to island within the game. Now if you thought that was amazing, oh wait, they weren't done yet. How about resorts for those islands? Yep, those are coming too. But not only will your sims be able to visit those resorts, no, they can also own them. It's kind of like a small part of open for business, but for hotels. Oh, and also for the first time ever, your sims will be able to go underwater diving. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Also, there may or may not be water slides in the game. So as you can imagine, by this time in the live stream, I was like completely spent. I was like, I'm done. I'm out. That's it. But then boom, part two. How about a time travel expansion pack? Because that's what's coming next. Coming in the fall of this year, time travel will be coming to The Sims 3. Another first for the series, your Sims will be able to actually travel into the future. Now they didn't really say much about this pack, but I'm all for it. Under one stipulation, back to the future 
DeLorean. Nuff said. Also, I guess for those Doctor Who fans out there, they should probably include like the TARDIS thing. Mind you, they kind of already included that in Supernatural. And that's it, but really that's a lot. The team at EA really pulled out some crazy things for this live stream and it was pretty awesome. I'm totally looking forward to The Sims 3 University, Sim City, and Island Paradise Pack coming later in the year. It looks like it's going to be a really fun year coming up for The Sims 3, but I have one last thing to talk about. With all the latest pushes to get out expansion packs faster and faster, it brings out the question question of why. The old release schedule was two expansion packs a year and two stuff packs, but why the change? Keeping in mind that the time travel pack will be number 11 on the expansion pack list. That's the most expansion packs for any Sims game in history. So it makes me wonder, how long till the end? Is 2013 the last year for The Sims 3? What will 2014 hold? And could it be time for the next iteration of the game? 2014 sounds like a perfect year for The Sims 4 to be released. Maybe, maybe not, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But the recent accelerated releases of expansion packs for the game makes me really wonder. So out of all of the announcements from yesterday, what are you most excited about? Tell me in the comments section below, or of course you can let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter, or Google+. Links to those in the description below. Once you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe button below as well? That way all of the newest episodes of now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you like me. One of the three. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.